Hello, welcome back to You Own Your Health channel. In today's vlog, we'll be delving into an important topic, the impact of smoking on individuals living with HIV. So let's get started. Weakening the immune system. HIV already compromises the immune system by attacking CD4 cells, which play a vital role in fighting infections. Smoking further weakens the immune system by damaging the lungs and impairing the function of immune cells. This double assault on the immune system significantly increases the risk of opportunistic infections and other complications for HIV patients. Increased risk of respiratory infections. Smoking is a major risk factor for respiratory infections such as pneumonia and bronchitis. For individuals living with HIV, respiratory infections can be particularly severe and challenging to treat due to their weakened immune systems. Quitting smoking can help reduce the frequency and severity of these infections, leading to better health outcomes. Please like and subscribe to our channel and click bell icon to get more health updates. Accelerated progression to AIDS. Studies have shown that smoking can accelerate the progression of HIV to AIDS. AIDS is the advanced stage of HIV, where the immune system is severely compromised. Smoking may hasten this progression by exacerbating inflammation, damaging lung tissues, and interfering with antiretroviral therapy effectiveness. Cardiovascular complications. HIV patients are already at an increased risk of cardiovascular disease due to chronic inflammation and certain antiretroviral medications. Smoking further compounds this risk by promoting atherosclerosis, hardening of arteries, increasing blood pressure, and reducing oxygen levels in the blood. By quitting smoking, HIV patients can reduce their cardiovascular risk and potentially extend their lifespan. Drug interactions and ART effectiveness. Cigarette smoke contains numerous harmful chemicals that can interfere with the metabolism of medications, including antiretroviral drugs used to treat HIV. Smoking may reduce the effectiveness of ART and increase the likelihood of treatment failure or drug resistance. Quitting smoking can lead to more effective management of HIV and better control of the virus. Improved respiratory function. Smoking damages the lungs and can lead to chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD, and lung cancer. For HIV patients, already vulnerable to lung-related issues, smoking can worsen their breathing difficulties. Quitting smoking allows the lungs to heal and improves respiratory function, enhancing overall well-being. In conclusion, quitting smoking is an essential step for individuals living with HIV to improve their health and quality of life. Smoking weakens the immune system, increases the risk of infections, accelerates HIV progression, and interferes with antiretroviral therapy. By quitting smoking, HIV patients can enhance their immune function, reduce the risk of respiratory and cardiovascular complications, and increase the effectiveness of their HIV treatment. Encouraging and supporting HIV patients to quit smoking is a crucial aspect of comprehensive care, promoting better health outcomes and a brighter future. Thanks for watching. If you've found this information helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. As always, take care of yourself and prioritize your health. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.